Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Nasty Addiction Garage. My name is Jeremy. This is our 92 Toyota MR2. So as promised on the last video, we were talking about doing body work and starting uh, stuff for paint, basically. Getting car preparated for paint. Um, I did go pick up some uh, parts that were going to be needed. Uh, one was going to be a, a rear bumper. The rear bumper that I have has a huge dinosaur bite in it, and I don't know how that would have happened, but it came with the car that way, so um, whatever, I got a new bumper, so it works. Um, I also got a couple other things. I got um, the gas filler neck, um, or pipe, or whatever you want to call it, uh, for my gray MR2. So this is another build that I have. Um, for those of you that are new, um, this is not the only MR2 build that we're doing on this channel. So I got some other parts for, for that car too. Um, in the mist, I met a really cool MR2 owner. Um, this guy's like nowhere to be found ever, but um, I found him. It was, it was pretty cool. Like we met, we chatted, we talked. It was, it was pretty cool. He's got a beautiful MR2 that um, he redid himself. So um, props to you, Dan. And again, thank you for the parts. Um, I also got a um, like a window molding. Um, the little molding or piece that goes in between the window and the door. This one is shot. It's, it's so shot, it's silver. So yeah, that's no good. Um, also got some mirrors, um, missing a mirror on the passenger side, so I got both mirrors, I got a deal for all the stuff, so why not, right? I think I got everything for 40 bucks, so it's perfect. Um, last thing I got was the speaker uh, plastic that goes on the back of the passenger, no, the driver's side um, subwoofer, where, where the subwoofer, the stock subwoofer usually goes, I got that as well. So. We're going to have a whole bunch of fun putting stuff together, taking stuff off, so let's get to it. So this is the bumper that I ended up getting that day. Um, doesn't look bad. I mean, it, it's intact. All tabs are intact, so that's good. Uh, we got a couple runs, but I'm not keeping this, this bumper this color, so it really doesn't matter. Um, I just need it to be all in one piece, unlike this thing here that has a huge, huge, again, Velociraptor, Tyrannosaurus Rex bite in it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that could have happened, but it it happened. It came with the car like that, so it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna be removing these lights. Um, I'm kind of pending painting the uh, the moldings, but I think I'm just gonna get the moldings painted as well, same color as the car, make it all just unified. Um, these up here, I'm gonna get them painted too, and just have the light like that. Uh, I'm going to get these clear coated. We're going to be removing these headlights, um, the actual headlight itself. I was thinking of painting the plastic piece, but I'm not going to do that either. I'm probably just going to get the plastic pieces painted black. Um, down here, the whole front grill is going to be painted all uh, all red so it can match with the front lip that I'm getting. I'm getting a 93 uh, front lip from eBay, one of those eBay lips. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. First off, what I'm going to try to do is remove this, this right here, this molding. Once this molding is off, it's a little bit easier to uh, get everything um, off of here. So this came off pretty easy. Now it's time for the tail lights. I think I use a flat head to pop these out here on this end. From underneath right here, there you go. Two more bolts here, or two more screws here on this side, 
So I'm going to remove these. And then the light should actually just come out. is out. This is connected by two bolts on the inside. So far where I'm at, um, I've removed both of these uh, tail lights. So both tail lights are off now. Um, it was basically two screws that went here. Um, you remove them directly. You kind of pull them directly off of here after you remove this bolt or this this screw and then this screw. But it looks like this thing is, is broken. So regardless, I'm going to pull it out, toss it. I don't know. I don't want it. Uh, and we are going to replace them with um, the cookie lights. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um, all now we have to do is there's two bolts, one in here, one I believe in here, and one I believe is in here, and this center bolt around here somewhere, right here, um, to remove the. Uh, the center panel, so let's get to it. So we got um, both lights out, center panel is removed, so far so good. So now what we're going to be doing is actually removing the uh, this actual brace here um, to then remove this bumper. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have to remove all these screws to remove this. These are those plastic kind of like uh, pop-up screws, so they should be relatively easy to remove. Um, after I remove those, then what I'm going to have to do is remove these side moldings. When I remove these side moldings, there's going to be um, two bolts on the inside of the of the trunk, like right on that side. Um, and I'm going to remove these uh, side moldings along with the side bump. We'll go for both sides. So I'm going to get to this and see what's the next uh, step after that. Show you, I need a 
Finally got this bumper removed. You know, I, I forgot how many bolts there are connected to this bumper. I, I mean, there are a ridiculous amount of bolts on this bumper, but they are removed now. This is the way it looks. So we're gonna be removing or replacing that one with this one and uh, see how it fits. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna replace it with the, uh, with the foam just because the foam is busted let's like a piece it together somehow but i'm not gonna worry about that right now um what matters is that the reinforcement bar is good um it's in there it's, it's non-dented none of that stuff so it looks good um but i'm gonna replace this bumper right now let's see how um how it looks when i put it back on one thing that i do have to do is actually remove the um the backup lights um or the license plate lights i mean and place them on the black one. The black one didn't come with any, so I will be using, reusing these and putting them on the black bumper. Finally, okay, so got them in. All in real nice, not moving, nice and stiff. Um, now to to fit this bumper on and bolt it back up. So it's looking good. It's looking good. I like how it looks. Nice and sturdy. Things not going anywhere. So now it's, it's, it's this back end is ready for 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 some action. So uh, painting would be next, obviously for for this car. We're going to be working on the removing the the headlights or the bulbs for the headlights. The actual lamp itself. We're going to be removing, but. This is already set to go. Both sides look pretty good on par with how it looks stock, so I'm liking the way it looks. So far, so good. So this is the final look for the back end. Um, lights have been removed, just pushed in. Um, this is kind of how it looks. This is kind of where we're at with uh, the back end. I'm thinking of popping this off somehow. Maybe with like a, a string or, or something, taking that off. Um, same thing that goes with this. I'm going to try to peel, peel that off too, just so then it can be nice and clean and clear. Um, 
so the paint, you know, looks looks uniform and nice. So so far so good. I'm liking it. This looks pretty pretty solid. Now moving on to the front. So now what we're going to be doing, we're just going to be removing the actual um, bulb itself, um, just so then it doesn't get sprayed. I'm not a big fan of overspray, and just in case that it does get oversprayed, the, at least the um, the bulb won't be in there. And ideally, I don't think I'm going to use these LEDs. Uh, I'm trying to keep it as stock as, as possible. So I'm probably just going to get the regular H4 housings from eBay, um, just so then I can have, uh, it could be nice and clear light. Um, ideally, uh, these LEDs are cool and all. These LEDs are cool and all, but um, it, it, it's it's just I don't know. I I, I like to stop the original look as pos as much as possible. Like it, it's just it looks a lot better for me. But it's just four bolts on each side um, of the plastic piece, and then four bolts on the metal housing itself. Which is like not a metal, metal housing, but like the metal. Um, it's almost like a like a bracket, the metal, the metal bracket that actually holds the light in. Got one more bolt on this side, and then we could unplug it and remove it. And so so far so good. We're making progress here, which is good. So then, um, the, faster, the faster I get this thing ready for paint, the faster it'll be, uh, it'll be painted. <laughs> but that's it, this is, there we go. So I'm saving this. Um, I'm definitely not gonna wanna keep this on here either, um, just so then it doesn't get painted on either. So I'm just gonna make sure that I remove this and then manually put the, the headlight down. Um, so then when, um, when they do paint, it is shut. I don't have to worry about it. There. So it'll be nicely, nice and tucked in there and ready to go. Now let's move on to the other side. Now the driver's side. Same thing, four bolts on each side. Pop these things off fairly quickly. This is the last bolt and then and the last screw and then it pops out just like the other one. And now I'm plugging it. And we're done. Same thing with this side. I'm going to uh, manually uh, drop the, the light just so then um, it can be even and get painted appropriately. There we go. 
Now next what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be removing the actual uh, tail light, or not tail light, the um, turn signal, so then uh, paint can get in there too, so just one little snap here, if I'm not mistaken. Pops up. There we go. That light is out. Now we'll move on to the next one. Both lights are out. And ta-da! They're both out and now I think this is it. I think we are ready to con, uh, to say that this, this is done and ready for paint. So lastly all I have is to actually remove the emblem. So what I'm going to do is, all I'm going to do is use the torch, warm it up, use the screwdriver, kind of pop it out. Let's see if it works. Hey guys, this is going to conclude today's episode of Nasty Addiction Garage. Um, today we did do quite a few different things with the body. We removed the rear bumper, took out that pterodactyl bitten uh, rear bumper. Uh, we did remove all the lights. We removed front headlights, we removed turn signals, and we removed tail lights as well. Um, we're really, really trying to get this thing prepped for paint so then we can get this swap moving. Um, as of right now, I don't have a, a paint uh, place in mind, so I still have to do some research with that, but I'm going to be looking for it hard so we can get a good deal. I don't need a show finish. I just need the car to look good, and I want it to last. So that's all that really matters to me. I'm going to paint it the same color. I'm not really changing anything. Make it a little easier on my pocket, but um, everything is going to be, uh, everything is going to look good. I'm not going to spare any expense on the swap because the swap needs to get done and the swap needs to get done correctly. So I'm going to buy all new parts for the swap, but that's a whole different episode. But as of right now, you already know how we do. We build with purpose. This is Nasty Addiction again. Thank you for watching. Remember, like, share, subscribe. And to all my new viewers, thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe. This is getting real good. See ya.